Hello and welcome back to Solomon's Cave. In the first video I did on Biblical Hebrew, I showed you all the consonants. And now it is time to focus on the vowels. If you were to look at the word on the screen right now with only the information I gave you in the first video, you might think that this word is pronounced as brshit. But in this video I will show you what all of these little dots mean, so that you will know that this is actually the word brshit, which means in the beginning. Or look at this word. You might think that this is fr. <laughs> But now that I'm going to add this information, you will know that this is actually going to be Avraham, which means Abraham. So by the end of this video, you will be able to pronounce every Hebrew word. Let's start with two rules of thumb. The first rule is that we always start pronouncing the consonant and then the vowel that is with it. Second, almost all consonants have one vowel. And there are only two exceptions. The first one is the last consonant of a word, which almost never has a vowel. And the second exception is that there are also some consonants that are part of the vowel to make it longer. So let's start with the first two vowels. Every vowel will be written with a bait. And that is also how I will teach you to pronounce it. The first vowel is the patach. And the patach is a short horizontal line underneath the letter. The patach is a short a, so with a bait this will be pronounced as ba. If you are slightly confused by my use of the letter a and pronouncing it as a, that is because I'm using a system that is slightly closer to the international phonetic alphabet rather than to the English a. But it's not that complicated, I'm sure you will get used to it. The second vowel is a kametz, and the kametz is a small t underneath the bait. This is a long A and it is also pronounced BA. Now let's look at some examples. In this video I will be going through the examples relatively quickly, but if I'm going too fast for you, you can slow down the video by going to settings, select speed and then set it to 0.5 for example. Ok, first example. Aleph, Patach, Get, Patach, Tav. You pronounce the whole word as achat, and it means one. Second word, alef, kametz, get. You pronounce it as ach, and it means brother. Next up, alef, kametz, beit. You pronounce it as av, and it means father. Then, alef, kametz, meim, patach, reish. You pronounce it as Amar, and it means he said. You all got that? If not, feel free to go back and watch it again. Otherwise, let's move on to the next vowels. The next vowel is the Segol. The Segol are three little dots underneath the consonant, organized in a small upside-down pyramid. It is a short E, and it is pronounced Be. And then there is the Tsere. The Tsere is two little dots, underneath the bait that looked like a colon fallen on its side. This is a long E sound and it's pronounced bay. Here come the examples. Alef segol, get, patach, tav. Echad, and it means one. Beit, tsere, closing noon, bein, and it means sun. Lamet, tsere, beit, pronounced lev, and it means heart. Alef Segol, Reish Segol, Closing Tzade, Eretz, and that means Earth. Next up I will be discussing three vowels at once. The first one is the Hirek, it's one little dot underneath the bait, and it is pronounced B. Then follows the Kibbutz, those are also three dots, sloping upwards if you read from right to left. This is a short U sound, so you pronounce this as Bu. And finally, the holem. The holem is a little dot above and on the left side of the consonant. This is a long O and it is pronounced bo. Here are the examples. Beit, patach, yot, hirek, taf, bayit. 
which means house, kaf, olam, he, tsere, closing nun, kohen, and this means priest. Lamet, kibbutz, kof, patach, get, pronounced lokach, and it means he was taken. Now we go to two examples of vowels that include a vav. Every time a consonant is used, whether it's the vav or any other consonant, it means that the vowel is long. The first example is if you get a dot in the middle of the vav, which kind of looks like a dagesh lene from the last video, but this actually turns the vav into a shurek. This is a long u, so it is pronounced bu. Next up is a vav with a dot on top of it. This is another version of the holem, which I will call holem vav, and this is also a long o sound, so bo. Here come the examples. He, shurek, alef, hu, and it means he. Get, shurek, closing tade, goods, and it means street. Yom, holem vav, closing meem, yom, and it means day. Ayin, holem vav, dalet, oud, and it means still. Now we just saw two examples of the wav being part of a vowel. Now let's look at two examples of the yot being part of a vowel. First the hirek, or the hirek yot. The hirek dot is under the bait, and then the yot is after the bait, and does not have an additional vowel for itself, so you know that this yot is actually part of the hirek yot vowel combination. It is a long e, and it is pronounced b. And the second vowel the yot can make longer is the tsere. So now you have a tsere yot. This is also a long e sound and it's pronounced be. Here are my examples. Aleph, hirek yot, shin. Ish, and it means man. Shin, kametz, nun, hirek yot, closing meim. Shanim, which means years. Beit, tsere yot. Closing nun, pain, and it means between. Beit, hirek yot, meim, tsere yot. Bimei, and it means in the days of. Now let's put everything we've seen so far in a table. Okay, so we have a, e, i, o, and u sounds. And we have seen short and long versions of both of those. The short a is a patach. The short A is a Segol, the short E is a Hirek, the short O we haven't seen yet, the short U is a Kibbutz, then the long A is a Kametz, the long E is either a Tsere or a Tsere Yot, the long B is a Hirek Yot, the long O is either a Holem or a Holem Wav, and the long U sound is a Shurek. So there is one missing and that is the short O. And it looks like... Hey... That looks too familiar to me. Isn't that a Kametz? Well, actually, yes it is. So now a Kametz can be either a long A sound, which would be the normal Kametz, or the Kametz is a short O sound, which is actually called a Kametz Chatuf. Now, how do we know which one it is? Let me say two things. The first thing is, almost all Kametz are long A sounds. So for now just pronounce all of them as if they are a normal Kametz and hence a long A. The second thing that I will say for now is that there is going to be a future video about the different types of syllables. And once you can identify the right kind of syllable, you will know all the rules you need in order to distinguish between the normal Kametz and the Kametz Chatuf. However, let me give you one example. Kaf, Kametz Chatuf, Lamet. You pronounce it as Kol, and it means all. Now I gave you the examples of the vav and the yod being able to lengthen a vowel. To wrap this up, there are two more letters and four more examples of other consonants lengthening vowels. The first one is a kametz he, which is a long a, so you pronounce this as ba. And then the aleph can also be connected to the kametz, another long a pronounced as ba. Now the Aleph can also be connected with the Tsere, keeping it a long E sound, so Be. And finally the Aleph can be used to lengthen the Hirek, making it a long E sound, 
So B. Here are the examples. Shin, Kamets, Nun, Kamets Hei, Shana, Year, Shurek, Meim, Kamets Aleph, Tav, Patach, Jot, Hirek, Closing Meim, Umathayim, and 200, Kav, Tzerei Aleph, Lamet, Holem, Hei, Hirek Jot, Closing Meim, Kelohim, like God. Reish, Hirek Aleph, Shin, Olam Vav, Closing Nun. Rishon, First. Now we are almost done. But the next thing is that we have to look at the Shava. The first Shava is a vocal Shava. It looks like a colon underneath the bait, and it is pronounced as a short E, so B. The second shiva looks like a small colon underneath the bait, and this is a silent shiva, which is not pronounced at all, so just B. And how do we know the difference here? Let me again say two things. The first thing is what I think is the most important rule about the shiva I have ever heard. My first Hebrew teacher told me to just do what feels right. If you feel like you have to pronounce it because otherwise it's kind of a tongue twister, then pronounce it. And if you think that you can skip the Shoah without making it almost impossible to pronounce the word, then you can skip it. And the second thing that I will say is that just as with the Kamets, I will address this in the next video. So let me give you some examples. Beit, Vokal Shoah, Nun, Tzereyot, Bnei, Sons of. Vav, Patach, Yod, Vokal Shava, He, Hirek Yod, Vayehi. And look, Aleph, Patach, Beit, Silent Shava, Reish, Kametz, Closing Meim, Avram, which is Abram, Yod, Hirek, Tzadei, Silent Shava, Chet, Kametz, Kof, Yitzchak which is Isaac. Now a discussion about the Shiva is not complete without also mentioning the composite Shivas. Composite Shivas occur underneath the guttural letters. The four guttural letters that can only take a composite Shiva are the Aleph, the He, the Chet and the Ayin. First Hatef Segol, which is a small E, as in He, Hatef Kametz, which is a small O, so HO. And finally, Hatef Patach, which is a small A, HA. Here are my examples. Aleph, Hatef Patach, Shin, Segol, Reish, Asher, Which. Ayin, Hatef Kametz, Nun, Hirek Yot, Oni, and it means poverty. And Aleph, Hatef Segol, Lamet, Holem, He, Hirek Yot, Closing Meim, Elohim, which is God. And now the very last thing, the Patach Fortivum. The Patach Fortivum is a normal short A sound, just like the normal Patach. But you write it a little bit further to the right. Think of it as a Patach that is running to the future and you pronounce the patach before the letter it is under, ach. Here are two examples. Reish, shurek, patach fortivum, chet, ruach, and it means spirit. Nun, holem, patach fortivum, chet, noach, and that is Noah. And that's it for this video. We're done. So check out the next video when it comes out, which will explain about the different kinds of syllables, which you can then use to identify the right kind of kamets, whether it's a normal kamets or a kamets hatuf, the right kind of shava, whether it's a vocal shava or a silent shava, and also we will get back to the dagesh. Also, tomorrow there will be a short bonus video about the commonly confused consonants. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
and share it with people who want to learn Hebrew so that they can start right here. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.